You there. Get yourself up to the guardhouse. The Commandant wants to talk to you. Lost in the Library, a survivor's tale for bibliophiles. Ahoy! Come to see me, have you? What do you think of the Inquisitor's laws? They're for our own protection. Besides, I wouldn't have the courage to run around out there. Those monsters from the ruins are everywhere. I see. Hey, they call me Sid. I hope you're not some faceless minion of the Order. What do you know about the Order? The Order locks us in the town like cattle and drags men off to the monastery. Take Rodriguez, a good man, reliable. And now, they did something to his mind up at the monastery. They got to him. Now he's just a tool of the Inquisitor. It's evil stirring people's brains round like that. What was Rodriguez before? He was a decent, honest thief. Salt of the earth. They caught him outside looting. Took him off and changed him. Poor fool guards the slaughterhouse by the harbor for the order now. Do you need help? It's Rodriguez. He's out to get me. He's part of the order. You're on my side, so do me a favor. Find out what he's planning and tell me. You look weather-beaten. Did you make it here across the seas? I was shipwrecked. I washed up here. What about you? I'm a sailor. Was. With the storms, there's nothing to do in the harbor. And I give up my job with Patty. So you work for Patty? I used to. Serving beer. But people are running out of money to spend on beer. So? I was no longer needed. Luckily, she hasn't asked me to clean out my berth yet. If you're looking for work, you won't find a lot. What happens in the harbor? Not much since the ship stopped coming in. Carrasco is in charge of things. He manages the warehouse for the order and he pays terribly. Stick to Luca. He's got something cooking. And if you do well, there'll be an extra coin or two. But don't let him swindle you. Luca is a complete skin fleet. Hey, can you spare a roll of Bruegel? Do I look like someone who would distribute that stuff? Try somewhere else. I'm not listening. In the middle of the night, right out of the ground. Hey, did my old lady send you? No. Good. Never stops nagging. You're young. Take my advice. Don't get married. Are you hiding from your wife? No cows, no harvest, no farm. Creatures everywhere. And she said that was my fault. Came to get work here. Now Carrasco won't even give me a job lugging crates. Would that have anything to do with the fact that you're in here getting drunk? That's got nothing to do with me. That's got nothing to do with it. That's got nothing to do with it. And you're sure about that? What are you, a missionary? I'll seek my salvation in drink. Go and bother Luca or... or... or someone. What do you think of the Inquisition? Locking us in here and claiming they want to help us. But do they, eh? Eh? Hey, are you in the market for valuable artifacts? Who are you? You interested or not? You're one of the triplets, right? You know my brothers? I've met one of them. 
Where did you get this artifact? It sort of fell into my possession. Heard it might come from the temple ruins. And it looks valuable. Your brother Ulf is being held prisoner by the Order. Ulf will escape. From what I've heard, there's not many escape the Order. What is this artifact? A golden bowl. It's sort of gold. And bowl-shaped. I want 150 gold coins for it. 150? Right. Know any good jokes? Jokes? A sailor walks into the tavern. Under one arm he has a chicken, and under the other he has a sausage. The innkeeper asks him... I know that one. Hey. Stop staring at me. You never seen a fisherman before? Didn't mean to stare. I'm drinking, not talking. Unless you're buying, you're walking. You got any rum? I've got some rum for you. Ah, bliss. She may be cruel in the mornings, but she's a fine mistress night and day. Light on the tongue, warm to the body. So, you're a fisherman? I lost my boat in those vile storms we've been having. Now I have nothing. Patty's good to me, though. Let's me run a tab. I'm looking for a buyer for a fishmonger's. What, Phyllis is? What's that to me? Wouldn't a fishmonger's be just the thing for a fisherman? I catch fish. I don't sell them. Perhaps you should think about a change of career. Hmm. Perhaps. And you don't have any work right now. True, true. How much would this stall cost me? It's yours for 300 gold pieces. I don't have a coin to my name. But... Maybe I have something else. Something else? I'll need your help. To do what? Listen, I have something valuable. We can trade. And this thing is worth 300 in gold? Shush, not so loud. And yes, it's an artifact from the ruins. Why are you running a tab at the bar when you own an artifact? I can't sell it. If the Inquisition find out, there'll be hell to pay. I see. But I'll sell it to you for 300. I'm sure it's worth more. Then I can use the gold to buy the shop, and you can take the profit from the artifact. What sort of artifact is it? It's a ring. I think it's magical. So, do we have a deal? Okay. Sell me the ring. Believe me, you're getting one good deal right there. Don't let Carlos or his people catch you with it, though. So, you'll buy the fish stall? Yeah. Fish from the shore in the mornings, sell during the day. Gotta be better than what I'm doing right now. Phyllis will be happy to hear that. Don't you have some place to be? Now there's a face that needs a drink. Better get this beer down you quick. See if you can bring a smile to it. Thanks. Oh, that's good stuff. Can I have another beer? Ah, see? I knew you were a man in need of liquid solace. And the beer here is better than most of the hog's piss on the island. This one's on the house. But from now on, you pay for it. Aren't you kind of young to be running a tavern? I wouldn't be behind this damn bar if the white robes hadn't sealed the town. Still, being here is better than being out in the gutter. Or being forced into selling my wares at Sonya's. If I could, I'd have been out of this rat hole long ago. Do you have anything to trade?
Why do you want to get out so badly? I'm looking for something. Something valuable to me. What? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Yeah, and so can I. You've got me curious. What is it you're looking for? Right, Terrier, aren't you? Well, don't get too excited. It's nothing you can sell. I need to find my father. Really? He went missing in the storms. His name's Gregorius. He's a sailor. I heard he was here. That's why I came. But I got stranded by the storms. Then the owner of this place was killed. Got sent into the ruins by the Inquisition. So I took this place over. Haven't found a trace of my father, though. He must be somewhere outside the town. I'll help you to find your father, Gregorius. And why would you want to do that? Sorry. Not used to getting offers of help. If you find anything out, I'd be grateful. I don't know if you know Captain Romanov. I heard he came here, and that he's still on the island somewhere. Romanov is also a man of the sea. He and my father have crossed paths a few times. If anyone knows something about my father, it's going to be him. How do you plan on getting out of the town? No damn idea. No damn idea, yet. I did hear there's a secret way out of the town. The Don uses it to get around the Inquisition. No idea if it's true. There's so much bloody talk in this place. It might be gossip, but what do they say about the secret way out of town? Artifacts keep going missing, so someone's smuggling them out. The Inquisition won't let ships leave the harbour, and they guard both gates. So the smugglers must have found a third way those damn white robes don't know about. Sounds like you could be right. Do you know any of these artifact smugglers? I bet this tavern that the Don's men are behind it. They usually are, but maybe that's just talk too. I'll help you get out of town. Better men than you have told me the same thing, but their price for help wasn't one I was going to pay. Maybe you're different from the others. Maybe you're the same. But if you hear something, if you know something, I'll treat you fair. But there are things I won't do. Don wants this, Stop the Inquisitor wants that. What about what we want? Not now. Patty is looking for her father. Ha! Huh. Show me someone who isn't looking for Captain Gregorius Steelbeard. I'll tell you what I'll tell anyone. He was here a long time ago, but where he is now, I don't know. So Gregorius Steelbeard is a captain. Most famous one I know of. I'm surprised you hadn't heard of him. But I wouldn't ask too many questions if I was you. You're not me. I don't know what Patty told you, but she's the daughter to one of the most infamous pirates in these waters. And there's plenty had cut your throat if they thought you knew anything about him and his whereabouts. What else do you know about Steelbeard? Only rumors. Ericsson says Steelbeard has a shack in the town. But I don't believe it. If Ericsson really knew where Steelbeard's shack was, he'd have plundered it and be leagues from here by now. Instead, I only ever see him hanging around Sonya's brothel. Why do you think Ericsson's interested in Steelbeard's shack? Ha! <laughs> the house of a famous pirate captain who terrorized the seas and amassed inconceivable riches. Show me someone who wouldn't love to poke around in that house.
Halt! No one can enter this warehouse. Everything all right, big guy? Everything is all right. I'm looking for training. Ukos can train you. Train you in strength. Train you with an axe. I must ask for a little gold against my honor. But Ukos needs gold for the butcher shop. Do you eat a lot of fried meat? Lots. Once I, Ukos, ate a whole cow. It was a small cow, but a big steak. Humans get mad when I eat whole cows. Yeah, then maybe you shouldn't do that too often. I'd like to train. Hey. Wait. Not here. Huh? We talk here, Carrasco will listen. He doesn't have to know everything. Let's go somewhere else. I'd stop right there if I were you. You ain't going any further. What's the problem? The Order runs this warehouse now. So what? So they don't want anyone wandering in uninvited. Wandering uninvited types tend to wander out again with stuff that ain't theirs. What sort of trouble? Artifact smuggling. It's bad enough these artifacts have been stolen in the ruins. You'd think they'd be safe in town in a warehouse, but there are thieves everywhere trying to undermine the order. Can I help? Well, the latest things to go missing were three golden bowls. The Inquisitor was not impressed. I could do with getting those back. And I need to get hold of some armor plates that walked out of the warehouse a few days ago. Where did the golden bowls come from? An illegal excavation at an old temple, outside the town. Since we heard about that, Talk says someone's been trying to sell three golden bowls on the black market. Idiots. To resist the order is crazy. We're driven by a greater force, a higher purpose. What do you know about the theft? My guess is the day laborers nicked them. All five plates. But you'd be hard pushed to find a brain amongst them. <laughs> no. Luca's bound to be behind it. Talk to him. Find out what he knows about those plates. Let's talk compensation. I was like you once. All about the gold and the dark place. I hope you find your higher purpose. Nothing in this town is free. Especially not me. Have it your way. If you help me, you can choose your reward. All right. I'll find the three golden bowls for you. You've got a pair on you, I'll give you that. But with the corrupt rabble we've got around here, it won't be easy. There'll be more than just you who's after them. So watch your back. Don't worry, I'll get your plates back. All five of them. Watch yourself. That godforsaken lot won't just give them to you. Tell me, what do you think the Order is doing for the town? The Inquisition. The Order's just monks. The Inquisition is the power here, and they will bring order and justice. This town will be made safe. Thanks. That's good to know. Do you have a problem with Carrasco? Well, let's see. All those temples turn up and we're thinking, hurrah, the gods have finally smiled on us. Then the Inquisition arrive, take over our island and start claiming all the treasure belongs to them. How would you feel? But do you have a particular problem with Carrasco? He's the worst of them. Claims I've been stealing, even had me searched. But he's never found anything. It's an outrage! An outrage, I tell you! 
You think the Don will hand out gold as rewards? From the amount I've heard he's got, he's sure to. Once he's happy the town is his, I reckon we'll all be in the money. Happy days for all then, eh? I'm looking for work. You could lug crates, but you have to talk to Carrasco. But you don't look like the crate-lugging kind of guy. What do I look like? Like someone who will willingly take greater risks for greater profits. So you don't think stealing is an outrage? Taking from the orders, not stealing. It's our duty. I'll pay a few lads to liberate items from the warehouse. I'm damned if I'm letting the Inquisition get all the treasure. But those lads have run up tabs to pay. They've bedded too many wenches. They're getting greedy. And I won't have that. How exactly have they got greedy? They stole five ancient armour plates that were found in the ruins. Can this armour be used? You mean to improve your own armour? Yes. They're more ceremonial than practical, but they're still very valuable. Which lads are causing trouble? There's Durham. He's a worker from the harbour. Who else? Ingvar and Vasily. Neither of them has a proper job, so they're just work for hire. Most of the time, they can be found in Patty's Tavern. Fine woman she is. What's in it for me, if I help? You can have the gold I offered them. 50 gold pieces for each plate. Five plates, that's 250 all in. 250's a good price. You won't get that much coin faster and easier anywhere else. I want 400. Yeah, and I want Patty to roll naked in a bath of warm oil with me. But it ain't gonna happen. Your boys wanted twice that much. That'd be 500. I'll take 400. I earn, and that way you still come out ahead. Oh, unfortunately, you have a point. All right, I'll pay 400. But only if you make sure those greedy asses stick to our agreement in the future. What do you want doing with these lads? How should I handle it? Any way you like. They've crossed me for the last time. Do what you have to do. Just get me those armor plates back. And don't let them fall into Carrasco's hands. Carrasco wants the armor plates back. I'm sure he does. But he won't pay you as good as I will. So forget Carrasco and bring me those plates. I'll retrieve the armor plates. That's the spirit. I'm here if you've got any more questions. Hey, you knew. How are things going here? Mm, not good. Not good. These storms ain't budging. So you're a sailor? Fisherman. Though there ain't no fish out there that make me want to brave these storms. So right now, I'm lugging crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's a great deal safer. If you're a fisherman, maybe you'd be interested in buying a fishmonger's. No, I ain't no storekeeper. I need to be out in the waves. Well, when they ain't 50 foot tall, that is. Try Patty's Tavern. I hear you've got some artefacts. Oh, Luca sent you, right? Look, I am sick and tired of lying in that bastard's pockets by doing his dirty work. I want payment. A decent payment. Or you can both piss off. 200 gold pieces should do it. I could beat them out of you. You can try, but I don't carry those armor plates with me. I ain't stupid, and without my help, you won't be seeing them anytime soon. Where are the armor plates? Pay me, and you'll find out. If not, you can search until your bones crumble and you won't find them. Look, where did you hide them? Are you deaf? No gold, no telling. Tell me where those plates are before I kick your ass out into the storms. You can shout all you like, but if you don't pay me, I'm telling Ukos. What does Ukos have to do with this? Ukos is big, strong, and he owes me. 
So, pay up. Hey, do you know any good jokes? Oh man, I know the best. Three whores are down at the harbour. A blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. The blonde says to the brunette, I know that one. Do you know Durham? Durham? Hmm? Durham is a good worker. He moves crates well. What else do you know about him? Do you owe him money? Gold does not interest me. Humans want gold, so Ukos must get gold to buy fried meat. Here, have a piece of fried meat. Thank you. Guarding is hungry work. Do you know if Durham has a hiding place around here? Durham has a little room behind the warehouse. Up the stairs, it is always open. Thanks, big guy. Ukos is hungry. This lock is too difficult. I have your key. Won't do you no good. You don't know where the chest is. Where is the chest? Do we have to do this again? You know my price. Guess he didn't hide that chest too well. I have the armor plates. <sighs> Miserable thief. Stealing from a thief isn't stealing. Hey. Hey yourself. If you like what you see, you're gonna have to pay Madame Sonia first. Until then, seeing is all you get. Fair enough. Who is Madame Sonia? I didn't think I'd meet someone around here who didn't know Madame Sonia. She's my boss. Owns the brothel on the Western Harbour Quay. I see. You're the most enchanting creature I've ever seen. Well, don't you say the nicest things. You aren't like the others in this town. You know how to talk to a woman. Yes? What do you want? Do these ships really need guarding? Ships? No. Cargo, yes. And while these ships are stuck here, it's the Inquisition's duty to protect them. So here I am. You're a warrior of the Order. Your keen intellect tell you that. Your armor did. Yes. I am a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. That's a big title for a guard. Have you caught people trying to steal from the ships? There are those stupid enough to try, but nothing escapes my eagle eyes. Nothing. 
Of course not. Don't mock. You don't want to end up like our prisoner in the Harbor Key Jail, do you? What did the prisoner in the jail do? Captain Romanoff is a pirate. Was a pirate. Now he's just another prisoner. We caught him smuggling goods from the mainland for the Don. Of course, Romanov's not the sort to pay for goods. He plundered, burned, and killed his way across the coast. Until the Inquisitor caught up with him. You see? Law and order. Safety. The Don is gone. And soon we'll find the gold Romanov was paid by him. Until he tells us where that is hidden, he'll rot in his cell. How did you become a warrior of the Order? The Inquisitor himself chose me. He took me to the monastery for training. So you were forced into service? No. The service found me and I found the service. I wish more people would sign up. Do their duty. Every man must find their calling. What's the Inquisitor like? You haven't met him. He's a hard man with firm principles. Once he has his eyes on a goal, no one can stop him. You can't help but admire a man like that. I suppose not. If you stay within the law, you have nothing to fear from him. What if I don't agree with the law? Then you better hope you don't meet him. Has Romanov told you anything, so far? Not much. He's tight-lipped for a braggart. But a few more weeks, rotting in jail, and he'll speak. You hope? Maybe I can get Romanov to talk. Ha! Why would he tell you where he's hidden it? We'll find it. The gold can't be far, and there are only so many places to hide it. I'll find Romanov's gold. How? We've been trying for days without success. But... If you did manage to find it, you would, of course, be rewarded. I'd need to be. Hey, you! What are you doing hanging around here? Nothing here of interest for passers-by. All right, I'm not going to cause any trouble. Good. Go on, then. And stay out of trouble. There's lots of it about. What is it you're guarding? We've got a VIP in there. Captain Romanov is in that cell. You must have heard of him. Scourge of the high seas. So? Where have you been? He terrorized most of the islands round here. Did Romanov work alone? What happened to his crew? With the storms out to sea, they'll be laying low in the town, hiding from the Inquisition. Why didn't the Order take Romanov to the monastery like all the others? I haven't the foggiest. The white robes don't tell people, but I like it that way. The less I know, the more I can keep my head down. Can I talk to Romanov? You can, but he won't hear, because he's in the cell and you're staying out here. And the key to his cell is staying in my pocket. Got that? So, what do you want to let me in? All the other town guards are having a great time in the tavern, or at Sonya's. The island's falling apart while they party. But I'm not allowed to leave my post. I've been here for days. Wet, cold, knackered. Romanov may be important, but he's not going anywhere. The only person to give me the time of day is you. And you're not exactly a sight for sore eyes. But well, I mean... If one of Sonya's girls came up here, then, hey, the two of us could make a bit of a party. Tell you what, I'll send one of Sonya's girls over. In return, you let me talk to Romanov. Hmm, well... Yep, it's a deal. <laughs> Be quick, though. Oh, and don't bring a girl with a face like a smashed crab, or the deal's off. You have any problem with thieves around here? The last bloke who tried to steal from here still can't walk without crutches. So keep your hands to yourself.
You stole my cell key, you bastard. So? Ha. Huh. All I'm saying is, I'd better not get into trouble with the white robes. Got it? <laughs> what is your... Let's see who they're sending me now. You another gutter dog, errand boy. You even think of asking about my gold. I'll rip out your tongue and feed it to the rats. I heard you're a pirate. We're starting with the hard questions, are we? Can see why they sent you, gutter dog. You gonna point out I'm in prison next? Or ask me if the food's all right? Just answer the question. You are a pirate, right? Pirate? Murderer? Criminal? Thief? I've been called a lot. Now they want to stick me in a cell to let me rot. The world is going to hell. I've been to hell and came back whole. I stared down the throat of the beast, watched water turn to stone, and cities tremble as it swept down upon them. Now they want to stick me in a cell to let me rot. You think that makes sense in these times, gutter dog? I'm sure letting you wander the streets will be a great comfort to the people here. The world's coming apart. We can all see our end in it. What comfort is there to be had in that? You've sailed out. In these storms. Seen a hundred ships founder. The waters swallow the men. But I've never seen the sea watch a man choose its time until now whatever is out there circling this island is doing that choosing its time these temples that rose from the earth the creatures that came with them they're nothing nothing compared to what is coming next and no one can stop it not you not me and sure as hell not the inquisition do you have a problem with the inquisition and the order who do you think locked me up here one day, that Inquisitor will pay. He won't see me coming. How long have you been here? A few days. They think they're softening me up. They want to know where I hid my gold. And here was me thinking they only cared about spiritual matters. The tavern keeper, Patty, is looking for her father. Patty? Patty Steelbeard? That cunning bitch is anything but a tavern keeper. Her father is Captain Gregorius Steelbeard, also a man of the sea. And credit where it's due, he's a great one too. Not that the lice-ridden old bastard didn't make my life hell. I wouldn't trust his daughter further than I could throw her. Same blood, after all. I'll keep that in mind. Tell me about your gold. Who says I have any? Pretty much anyone who mentions you mentions gold. You live on rumors. You might as well believe fairy tales. Who might know where Captain Steelbeard is? My crew have been hunting the cutthroat for months, but found neither hide nor hair of the bastard. Where is your crew? Scattered across the island. Some are in town. Vasily and Ericsson were here not long ago. They're waiting for a sign from me. Steelbeard has a shack here in the town. You sure? Vasily told me. Hmm. Patty better not get wind of it. I don't entirely trust Vasily not to get drunk and blab his mouth. He's meant to be watching Patty. But he'd like to do more than watch, I'll bet. Why are you watching Patty? Pays to keep an eye on your enemies. And her father wants to pay me back a little for scuttling his ship and killing off his crew when we last fought. Sure, he'd have done the same to me, given half a chance. But there's a score to settle, so it's up to me to settle it before he pays me back. Finding Steelbeard. That's something me and his daughter have in common. Maybe her search will help me find her father before she does. The door is open. You're free. I'll leave when I want to. At least I get free food here. So why don't you escape? Escape to where? You've seen any ships come here in a week, a month? 
That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea in pieces. We've got little time to settle our reckonings before we meet our maker. And I have reckonings to settle on this island. I know what you think about the Inquisition. What do you think about the Don? I've known Esteban for a long time. He's a good man. Keeps his word. And there are few men I know of who do that. Least of all, honest men like the Inquisitor. Or join the Order and believe your soul will be saved by a flame. <laughs> Can't be nice here. It's damp, drafty. Can tell you never lived at sea. But this rancid clothing does mean no good. Short time normally means clean clothes. And I've been sweating into this shirt for five straight weeks. I've an old chest in the warehouse on the Harbour Quay. There's a casket in there with shirts in it. You bring that casket to me, maybe then we can talk about things. I might even throw a few coins your way. Deal. I'll bring you your casket. Here's the key to the chest. It's on the upper floor of the warehouse on the Harbour Quay. Won't be easy to get to, but I can see you're the resourceful type. After you've got the stuff, come straight back here and keep the casket hidden. You give me your word on that. You must really be fond of your shirts. You have my word. Just get going before I stink myself into an early grave. 